To the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Coming up, well, we've got what can only be described as a mirror image matchup, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins and themselves. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway from Miami. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Tua on the bootleg here. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 44-yard line. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. His throw incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Here's second and ten. Out. On play action, here's Tua. And his throw here is incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They've moved all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Off the of play action, tongue of Iloa. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A very solid gain of 27. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On first and 10, it's Moster. And he'll get four there down to about the 12 yard line. Second down and six now. Once again, it's Mostert. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run here with Mostert. Uh -oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They Touchdown! Tua finding his own Alabama teammate, Jalen Waddle. And the Dolphins' decision to go for it pays off with six points. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for ten plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. Jason Sander is the kickoff one now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this taken in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. 
And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Up from the secondary to make the tackle, Jalen Ramsey. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. To his throw, complete there to Berrios. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? It's all right. All right. Grease board. Heck, computer. Exactly what you want, Doc. Score on your first drive. Stop them on the first drive defensively. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So first and 10 now from the 30. Up the middle, a chan And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball on the 39, here's second down and one. Brings up second here they stay on the ground. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. straight ahead with H.M. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take over at their own 41. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. Bradley Chubb there on the tackle. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and nine. Double one, high, double one, high. Hey. A run with Mostert up the middle. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Tug of Ilo are going to try and throw on third down. He's got it at the 15. are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. 
And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Play action, now it's Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. And 26 big yards on that one, it's another first down. Now a give to Mostert running right, and he's got it down to the 28. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to pull that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done. And they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Mostert hit, and he drops the ball. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just over 30 seconds to go in this first half. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Now we're first and 10 at the 11. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. A gain of three, second down. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. The second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? 
Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. Tua sets up to pass it. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. But Brandon, we see why it's a team game there because there's a sign of relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, it's likely a touchdown. But instead, that pressure from the front got to him and forced the incompletion. You're right. He had him open just a split second too late on the release. 